Understand it's not about the money, it's about the wealth. Everybody eats. Everybody eats. What's up, y'all? It's AJ Simmons here with the Everybody Eats channel. And I want to get right into it. I want to talk about it's not about the money, it's about the wealth. Listen to this. If you go make $36,000 a year at a company, right? Or you can go and make $36,000 a year at your own company paying yourself, right? Let's say your company grosses about, I don't know, $300,000 a year. And you pay yourself $36,000 a year salary out of that money, okay? So, what's the difference between you making $36,000 for your company versus you making $36,000 at somebody else's company? Same thing, right? Only difference is you had to work your ass off to build that company up to $300,000 per year, number one, right? So then you're like, well, damn, for all of this stress, for all of this building, I might as well just go work for their company and they'll pay me the salary for less stress and all of this, right? Well, no, that's the wrong logic because you got to understand this. It's not about the money. That's the, that's that's riches. Like, that's temporary. Because guess what your net worth is when you go work for somebody else's company? Let's say you made the 36000 at somebody else's company, right? You rent an apartment. Um, and you you paying you making monthly payments on a, a car note, right? And and you got maybe personal loans, credit cards, etc. Well, what is your net worth? Your net worth is your assets minus your liabilities. Well, if you rent an apartment, you don't own a business, and you making thirty six thousand dollars a year at your job, what are your assets? Nothing, zero. Now, what are your liabilities? Those loans, the credit card, plus the car note, right? So you take that, the the the. Uh, assets which is zero and subtract the liabilities and you'll have a negative number now if you did took the exact same situation where you were the owner of the company making thirty six thousand dollars a year but now you got the equity of the company minus the that debt that you had and now you at least have a net worth at that point now why is a net worth so important because like, okay well it's just paper right it's just it's just on in theory it's not really a thing that you can touch well that's not true because here's the thing Number one, if you own a business and you die today, let's say you have kids, you can pass that business on to your kids. And now they don't have to go looking for a job because they can grow into the, the company that you left for them. That's number one. Number two, if it's an actual business and there's a system in place and it's self-sustaining, now then guess what? It's passive income from coming from that company. Because we just said you made $36,000 in salary. Well, guess what? We didn't say you can also be making dividends passive income okay from that company you don't have to work at all if you don't want to if it's a company that's self-sustaining you can hire somebody to be the ceo pay them and you just collect dividends from the company okay just now you're in, in an executive level position okay then on top of that you can borrow against that company okay now you might say well yeah i can borrow against uh the pay stubs at that job too that's more simple and easier to manage well, that's true. However, now if you borrow against the income, the check stuff that you got at that job, they're going to look at your personal credit report, right? They're going to look at your personal credit score and base it off of that along with your income. Well, if you own a company, you can borrow against the business because again, why are we borrowing in the first place? It ain't like you're trying to go buy another car, right? That's not what we borrow for. Not if we're building wealth. Not if, not if we're watching the AJ Simmons Everybody East channel, right? We, we only borrowing to make more money right so if you're borrowing you're trying to go buy an investment anyway so what better way to i mean what better thing to do than to borrow against the company that's already making you the money so that way you can invest in another income source okay so if you got a company then you can borrow against the business's books okay so if you've been doing keeping up with your books and you got a recurring history of income coming in you got um uh, you, you see that you your own stuff, you know what I mean? You look, they're looking at your balance sheet. They see that your company has assets. Maybe you own some equipment with that company. Maybe y'all, you might even have some real estate in that company. You might have a company vehicle in that company, anything, okay? But either way, you can borrow against the income sources of the company itself. The fact that the company generates revenue makes that company an asset that you can borrow against without a personal guarantee, which means they're not gonna check your credit score, unlike if you were to try to go borrow if you worked at a job, okay? So that's why it's so important to to obtain uh, meaningful wealth and not ordinary income. When you're working for somebody else's company, you're just getting ordinary income. Regard, I don't care if it's a million dollar a year salary, it's just ordinary income until you invest that money and create meaningful wealth for yourself. 
something that you can pass on to your kids, something that you can uh, borrow against. You see what I'm saying? Something that's tangible. That's why cash isn't. That's why when you see a lot of rich people, you notice that most of their net worth isn't in cash at all. They don't have a lot of money in the bank most of the time. Their, their, their net worth is calculated off the real estate that they own, the companies they're invested in, the stocks, all of that type of stuff, right? It's never in just cash because cash loses value every day anyway because they print more of it every single day. And how do we place value on things? By scarcity. Okay, so every time, like if, if, if everybody in your in your neighborhood got on new Jordans, the black and red Jordans, right? You don't want the black and red Jordans because it ain't worth as much to you because everybody got them. So you want to go get those those orange ones over there, you know, because you want to be the only one with it because that creates value. Value is created when you can have something that nobody else has. So everybody doesn't own a business. That's why a business is, is wealth. Everybody doesn't even own a home. That's why our home as well is about creating that value for yourself, creating something that's, that's tangible and paper. And at, at the end of the day, money is just paper anyway, right? So you have to get wealth. You have to invest. You got to learn about stocks. You got to learn about real estate and you got to learn about small business. Okay. And some of you guys might not even want to do a small business, but you just want to invest. Well, okay. Well, stocks, because what is stocks? Investing in somebody else's company. But it's different than working for somebody else's company. It's like now you're going to give somebody else money who knows what they're doing with their company. They're going to take your money, put it into their business, make their business generate profits, and then give you a piece of the proceeds since you put your money into it. That's what stocks is, okay? So, again, you don't have to be an entrepreneur just to get started in in investing. Investing can be a a bunch of different things. All investing is is putting your money into something that's going to bring you back money, period. That's it. And you want it to bring back more than what you put in. That's it, okay? So the bottom line is this. Don't worry about high income all the time. Yes, if you happen to come across a job or, or some type of career field where you can get a high income, that'll be more helpful because the more you're making, the more you can save, the more you can invest, right? However, you don't need a high paying job or high paying income to invest and to be successful all you need is to learn how to invest because if you really know what you're doing you could take a hundred dollars and invest that and flip that into a thousand and turn that thousand into two thousand and so on right so it's not about how much you bring in it's about how much you keep and then invest and make it multiply by more make the money your employee okay thank y'all for listening i'm aj simmons make sure you subscribe to everybody's channel and i'll be talking to y'all tomorrow thank you Look, hey yo, headed to the top, ain't none of y'all stopping me Used to say I never get a ring, Charles Barkley Now I got a wife, got kids, own property Bubble eye beans, it look like that bitch be watching me Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard though I'm still in that black act, but she starred though Cause that's all it take, uh, fuck I'm flashing for I'm on my grind, not no motherfucking fashion show Come on. Look what you asking for, trying to buy a whole yacht me on the other hand, I'm trying to buy a whole lot why? So I can sell them bitches Young, Young businessman That's why I used to drop pounds No fitness plan Yeah, and some get it with a bachelor Me, I flip money, other dudes flip spatulas But it's all good, get it how you live Gotta build an empire for your grandkids, kids Now can I live? Cop me a crib Something with a late view, but not too big can I breathe? A drop is what I need But not so I can stunt, just so I can feel the breeze Can I live? Cop me a crib Something with a late view, but not too big Can I breathe? A drop is what I need But not so I can stunt, just so I can feel the breeze